Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video we have seen how to use list box and link it with the database and how to use uh, list box with coordination with the database. In this video I will show you how to edit or update your data with the help of your Windows form application so what I'm going to do is I will take a button and I will name it as update button and when I press this button and whatever I have entered the data in these text boxes my data related to that field will be edited or updated in the database so we will see how to do that first of all take uh, button from your tool bar and place it here and I will name it as go to the properties and I will name this is a text so I will write text update and in the name area I will name it as update button okay so this button I have created to update my data now what you need to do is just go to your save and select your save uh, button yes you heard it right select your save button and then double click it and you will go to the code which we have written in the video number 9 and 10 in which I have shown you how to save your data with the help of uh, save button so I will just copy the whole code because I just need one or two corrections in this code not corrections but I will edit this code and then using this code only I can update my data in the database I just need to change this query which I will show you right now so I will copy this once again I will go to my form and then select this update button and double click it and now you reach to the update button click event or function in here paste your code which you have copied from the save button code okay and now you already know by the this time that this is the connection with the database my SQL and here with MySQL command this is the query we pass into the database in order to interact with our MySQL database so we are going to change this query a little bit instead of instead insert into database we will here write update and delete this into update your database dot your table name which is this this is my database name and this is my table name database dot table okay so update database dot table and just delete this after this we will write value also delete so here we will write first I will see what is my column name my column name is EID name surname and age these four field I am going to edit with the edit button so 
update database dot e data then write set eid which is my first column name in the database set eid is equal to this arrow pointer eid text arrow pointer text this comes from this this text box name whose name is I will show you added text so added text is this added text so we are taking the data from this text box and just passing in this column variable okay and after this comma our second column name is name is equal to this arrow pointer or text box name which is this name text box and arrow pointer text and then the third column is surname so surname is equal to this surname text box name arrow pointer text and our fourth column is age is equal to this age text field arrow pointers text okay then we will delete this and write where eid is equal to and once again just copy this whole eid is equal to this arrow pointer eid text arrow pointer text and paste it here where eid is equal to this so it will update your data whatever you will enter into your text fields i will show the, this query once again update database dot your table name then set eid which is your first column is equal to single quote in between double quote in between plus and in between that that write this then your text box name then this text write like this and then comma your second column name which is name is equal to this arrow pointer name text and arrow pointer text surname same as surname and same do it for the age where this where clause comes because it tells your database where to update your data so whatever we will enter into this field it will update your data in that column so for example we will write update my data where our employee id is 1 then your data whatever you enter in the text field will be edited for the employee id 1 ok so this we have done and now in this message box we will show instead of saved message we will write up dated so when our data is updated it will show up us the message that our data is updated okay now let's try and run the program if it's really running or not 
run yes and once again I will enter my username and password and my new form opens this thing I have shown you in the last video whenever you click any field in here the value corresponding value will appear here so for example you want to change employee ID 3 data which is previously saved as first name Jack last name Cell and his age is 40 so I want to name him as Patrick and I will edit this name as Bell and his age is 45 now ok and I will click this update button and it's showing me that you have an error in SQL syntax check the manual corresponding your ok let's see why so I will check where I have done mistake it's here my where spelling is wrong I should write W H E R E and now I should try and run my program so sorry for this spelling mistake and now I'll run my code password username username password ok and once again I want to change this employee id 3 as Patrick Bell and his age I want to change now as 50 ok Patrick Bell 50 remember this code we have edited employee number 3 I will click this update button and you can see we can see the message our data is updated click ok and just check whether our data is really changed or not here you can see the old data for the employee id 3 but now we have changed so we need to refresh our database from this button refresh and now you can see Patrick Bell and 50 so we have just change in our code this update query and this message and run our code and our data is updated so that's how you can update your database and I hope you have learned something new this time. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.